high again. We're moving on again uh, to uh, uh, through Joshua and Judges, and now we're going to be in Ruth and Ruth chapter 4. Another uh, stop on our uh, tour of um, the Bible, looking forward to Jesus' birth. So Ruth chapter 4, pause the video, have a read, and we'll talk. It's very hard to talk about this chapter without talking about the first three chapters of Ruth. Ruth is a short book, only four chapters. And if you get a chance after this and want to have a read of the whole thing, then uh, take that chance. Uh, but here in Ruth chapter 4, uh, we uh, talk about a man named Boaz who's called a kinsman redeemer. Uh, and he uh, has decided that uh, or he, he's, he wants to um, do the right thing by his family uh, and uh, marry this woman, Ruth, who is actually not from Israel. She's from Moab. Uh, and uh, she had married an Israelite man when they had fled Israel during a famine to Moab, uh, but he had died. Uh, and that man's mother, Naomi, uh, had take, gone back to Israel, uh, really with both her husband and sons dead, and really uh, t totally bereft and, uh, and with nothing left. But Ruth, her daughter-in-law, goes with her, even though she doesn't have to. She's not from Israel. She has no family there. She could easily, uh, as a widow, stay in her own country and remarry and things will be fine. But uh, she actually says earlier in the book to, to Naomi, my God will be your God and I'll, where, where you go, I will go. So your God will be my God, I should say. Um, your God will be my God. Where, where you go, I'll go. Uh, and uh, eventually she catches the eye of Boaz, who is uh, part of uh, Naomi's family, and uh, and he is going to and he wants to redeem her to actually marry her to, to make to ensure she and Naomi are looked after and to continue Naomi's family line uh, in Israel. Uh, he doesn't have to do that. He could uh, leave, but, but he is keen to do it. Uh, to uh, he's keen to do it to um, uh, to redeem Ruth and to redeem Naomi particularly. And so we see this whole negotiation go on here. Uh, through um, uh, between Boaz and his other man, who is in a sense a closer redeemer, he he, he has the first right, or he, he he has the first obligation, it should be, I should say, uh, to redeem Ruth and Naomi. And when he says he won't do it, in fact, he's he's worried about his own inheritance. Uh, uh, Boaz says, "Then I'll do it." Uh, and so that's what Boaz decides to do. Um, uh, Boaz has already shown himself to be a very uh, uh, generous uh, man as he sought to look after Naomi and Ruth and Ruth has shown herself to be a very hard worker as well <coughs> um, <coughs> excuse me uh, um, uh, but and so the, the book ends with Boaz and Ruth married and with Ruth giving birth to a son and we discover right at the end that actually they once again become part of uh, David's family tree King David would be uh, Israel's best king, and of course, again, will become part of Jesus' family tree. Uh, like yesterday, Ruth is mentioned in Matthew chapter 1 as part of Jesus' family line. <coughs> Excuse me. Once again, we see that uh, being in God's, being part of God's people is not a matter just of descent, but actually of uh, entrusting yourself to God and of committing yourself to Him. Ruth was not a descendant of Abraham, she was from Moab, and yet here she is once again. Uh, part of King David's ancestry and therefore part of Jesus' ancestry. Um, and also notice how Boaz is a redeemer. Uh, he comes and he uh, uh, sacri gives up something really, sacrifice himself uh, so that uh, others can be saved. And in that we see a little bit, a little hint, if you like, of what Jesus will do as our redeemer, who will give his life so that we can be saved. Uh, why don't I give thanks for that now? Heavenly Father, thank you for Boaz who redeemed Ruth and for the way in which Ruth then became part of your of the, the family tree of your son, Jesus. Thank you. This shows us that um, uh, uh, to be part of your people is open to all. Uh, and thank you. This shows us and reminds us that uh, what matters is entrusting ourselves and committing ourselves to you, uh, not where we're born or how smart we are or how rich we are. Father, please help us look forward to Jesus' birth and thank you for Ruth and her place uh, in your plans and in Jesus' genealogy. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'll see you next time.